in the efforts to transform the mining sector, trade and mining stakeholders have urged African nations to embrace a framework to help governments manage their natural resources with a sustainable long-term view. Africa was losing in excess of 50 billion annually in illicit financial flows. Now those have actually reached 100 billion annually, more than what we receive in ODA. And 80% of that is in extractives. So we have decided to develop a homegrown solution. We need to know what we have as Africa. And we have to have geological information on our mineral resources and our wealth. To first of all, for all the countries in Africa to know the kind of mineral resources we have, the quality, the quantity is important for inventory purpose. Speaking at the fourth session of the United Nations Environment Assembly at Gigiri, Nairobi County, the stakeholders stated there was need to support development of concepts that promote innovative solutions to transform the environmental challenges into opportunities. Innovation is very slow to happen in any system. So it took 6,000 years for somebody to figure out that we can put little uh, wheels in our suitcases so that, that can, we can easily sail through um, cities and in airports and all. So this innovation we can, is an example that innovation sometimes are stalled because we don't interact with each other. It needs coalition of ideas, with different ideas to come together. At the same time, the stakeholders stated there was need to involve communities who are sole beneficiaries of mineral and petroleum resources in Africa. They can enjoy lives today, bring safety and security to their lives, quality of living to their lives, but also ensure that the future generations, their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren and their great-great-grandchildren also can enjoy the resources in uh, in an equitable manner so that they also can be assured of a quality of living way into the future. The five-day forum is held under the theme Innovative Solutions for Environmental Challenges in Sustainable Consumption and Production. African nations have been urged to come up with legal frameworks that can then be adopted by mining companies within their jurisdiction to protect the environment. Reporting for Channel One News, I'm Jackie Wambiru from the UNEP headquarters in Nairobi.